Hi guys, so today I would like to discuss about some books about uh, fuzzing and fuzz testing. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, it's like a top uh, four of the books that I uh, recommend uh, during my trainings. Uh, some of them are a bit old um, and uh, actually uh, only three of them are available in the paper version. So uh, like uh, this one. Okay. So uh, let's uh, start with uh, the uh, first one. So for me, the first one will be uh, Fuzzing Brute Force Vulnerability Discovery. So it's, as I mentioned, it's a pretty old one, uh, but it's uh, still really nice, uh, really interesting. Um, as I mentioned, um, I, I have a lot of chapters that are really interesting for me in, in this book. So uh, it's definitely a recommendation. Also, it's pretty uh, EV. I mean, there is a lot of content, not just content about uh, like Linux or Windows and so on. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit more generic. The downside is uh, since this book is pretty old, uh, you will get some chapters that will not be I will say up to date anymore, like the tools doesn't exist or are not maintained anymore and so on. But it's still interesting to, to get the concept. In the same way, a book that is uh, pretty old, but actually the second uh, edition was um, pretty recent and um, it's uh, Fuzzing for Software Security Testing and Quality Insurance. Uh, basically, this book has been written by three of the most uh, famous people in the Fuzzing Vulnerability Research um, um, area in the last 10, 20 years, basically. Uh, so uh, it's like the reference book for fuzzing in general um, and uh, more specifically if you want to learn uh, a bunch of like or you can mix up like academic stuff that exists uh, in the last 10 years about fuzzing and um, what uh, you will uh, see with real life uh, example that's pretty interesting uh, the book is pretty expensive to be honest um, so um, i would invite you to like find the the ebook version i mean don't uh, buy the ebook version instead of the paper version for example on my side i was only able to find the first version of this one it looked like that so it's basically um i mean the second edition in ebook will be a, a best a buy i think the um final paper book i want to mention is uh, a bug hunter's diaries so it's not just about fuzzing it's about vulnerability research uh, it's definitely my favorite uh, book uh, on about security research in general the main reason for that is uh, it's a bull uh, it's a it's a book full of um, example, real life example, and on really interesting targets. Um, just to mention quickly, um, basically in this book you will uh, learn how the author found a multiple CVE. So it's in the same way it's pretty old. The book is from 2011, I would say, and basically you will uh, it will explain how he found basically bugs in. Um, VMware, uh, VLC, um, the iPhone, um, and a bunch of other stuff like FMPEG and so on. So uh, some of those techniques that he is using, um, I mean, the technique will still work, but it will be way more complicated to find bugs. I mean, like 10 years ago, it was really more easy to find bugs with fuzzing. Uh, but actually, uh, in the the good part is that right now uh, in fuzzing we have stuff like code coverage uh, guided fuzzing and so on. And this tactic was not available or at least not so popular uh, by the time and, and no tool was existing basically. So um, the downside, I mean, for you as a security researcher is that there is less obvious vulnerability, uh, so less stuff to find, but on the other way, uh, you have better tool to uh, find what's left to be found. So that's the good part of it. And the final one uh, is not a paper book. It's the fuzzing book. Uh, it's definitely, I think, one of the best resources you can find regarding fuzzing and uh, vulnerability research and so on, if you really want to understand the concept. Um, so you need to be familiar with Python, basically. But uh, inside this book, you will learn 
uh, basically um, what is covered, code coverage guided fuzzing, mutation based fuzzing, um, structural based fuzzing, and so on. A bunch of different stuff with a real life example. Um, so just to give you an idea, for example, um, fuzzing with generator, uh, and you will get like a detailed uh, tutorial and description, or you can basically um, generate some base on the grammar or you can generate some inputs uh, and provide that to a target so really interesting um, even if you don't want to like read everything it's still interesting to take a look at what they are doing and maybe implement that uh, using like your language of choice basically so I hope you appreciate this video. Uh, I think I will do some other one regarding like the best book for reverse engineering or some other resources. So let me know on the, on the comment what you would like to see. And uh, I hope you enjoy and see you in the next video. Bye.